Hi guys, George here from Zero Period Productions, and today on Skyrim Saturday Mods, we're taking a look at The Last Refuge, Jeral Mountain Citadel 2 by Roadhouse. This is a sequel to Valley of Outcast Jeral Mountain Citadel, which I had reviewed and played through a few months back. Picking up right where the last mod ended, you are contracted by a member of the Elder Council on an important mission. That pays quite well if you see it through to the end. While the mod author makes use of some recurring characters from the first mod, the storytelling in this mod is a bit different. The first mod in the series focused on helping out various members of your citadel and settlement, taking on personal quests for them and helping them with smaller tasks. Your choices throughout those smaller quests would ultimately determine who would live and who would die in the final battle. The Last Refuge follows a more traditional story, with a main questline that has you traveling across Skyrim in search of a necromantic cult. Like the first mod, the mod author makes use of fantastic voice actors and really knows how to create and direct very cinematic scenes. My biggest issue with the first mod was the amount of bugs, and while I know right off the bat that this mod has some as well, I'm hoping that it's a little less bug-happy than its predecessor. The mod is available on PC, both for Legendary Edition and Special Edition. To get started, simply head to your Citadel after completing the final quest in Valley of Outcasts. So one thing I want to say is that this is my second attempt at recording this mod. I tried recording this probably a couple months ago at this point, and I just kind of had to put a pin in it and say maybe I'll come back to this another time. And the reason for that is I ran into a lot of bugs, and on that day in particular, I just said, no, I'm not dealing with this, but got a little more patience today. And I did enjoy the first mod, bugs and all, so I wanted to give this mod a chance as well. I must ask, what's an elder councilman doing hiring us? I must ask why a sellsword is questioning a client. Well, we don't. It usually leads to working for the wrong people. Good. That is why I'm hiring you. Can't stain my reputation. And hire a group of cutthroats now, can I? Just a valley of outcasts. Would this be the Dragonborn? In the flesh. Oh, God, you're very close Allow to me. Allow me to introduce myself. Martin Senius of the Elder Council. Of course, I know who you are. Seems my reputation is faster than I am, as always. So it would seem. That's of little import right now. I have a contract for you. Alright, well let's discuss it upstairs. Follow me. After you. Now the nice thing about this is that it does start immediately after you finish the first mod. As soon as you finish the first mod, all you have to do is come back into the keep and uh, Orvania the is secure, and Bianor and Martin of the Elder Council immediately pop in and they are ready to Down get started on that. Was. Good to see my men were ready. Now the only thing is... The last time I tried this I did have a couple... Secure, ...bugs and issues as I mentioned. If I try talking to her, it's trying to complete the quest with her and Bianor. The one where it's like, oh, I enthralled my husband, I want him to be free now which I had to complete with console commands because it was broken. Now, here's the thing. A lot of the uh, the patches and fixes for the original mod, Valley of Outcasts, are in this mod. You have to download the sequel mod to patch the first mod. And to me, that's the thing of... I get where you're going with it, I understand the reasoning behind it, but to me personally, it almost feels like you're trying to force me to download... The second mod, you're trying to almost up your download count, if anything. Maybe that's just me being a pessimist, but... You know, just patch each mod individually. If you have a patch for the first mod, make it for the first mod. If you have a patch for the second mod, make it for the second mod. Oh, you, you're sitting all the way over there. Should I... What are we being left out of? I'll, I'm gonna sit near him, I feel like that's important. I'm sorry, who are you? The castle steward and the dragonborn second in command, Will R. Woodstrider, former arms sergeant of Imperial Rangers. I assume that would be of interest to a man of your occupation? You could hear me. Terrible acoustics in this castle. 
And what of you, Red God Lass? What place do you have that makes you a necessary presence here? Marie Maltenau. I'm the Quartermaster. And that makes you vital for this meeting because... We kissed. Because I'm part of the Dragonborn's upper echelon. I'm staying where I am. Upper echelon, is that what we're calling it now? <laughs> do you guys maybe want to sit a little closer to us? Like, this, this seating arrangement is a little awkward. Dragonborn, do you approve of your Quartermaster's insolence? It's not insolence. I'd prefer if Marim stayed for this. Well then, if that is your preference... Thank you, Dragonborn. No problem. So, Asinine, to the point, there is a task that I think this organization would be very inclined to do. I have had a level of rivalry with a large, extensive coven of necromancers here in Skyrim. I swear, this place is a paradise for them. What with the cold weather and mummified corpses... More to the point, I have learned that this particular group of necromancers is hunting an Elder Scroll for purposes I am unaware of. You're on the Elder Council. Why not just get a group of rangers on it? This is what we're trained for. You ought to know that sending the rangers off on a task like this requires the approval of three councilmen, lad. And unfortunately, no one on the council believes that these warlocks would have any interest in an Elder Scroll. I'd assume that the council realizes that anyone capable of reading an Elder Scroll would have an immense use for it. You must take into consideration that it's unlikely that they'd even have a way to read an Elder Scroll. Still, I need you to track them down as they search for the scroll and stop them. For the destruction of this coven, I offer you 20,000 septims. Ooh. For accepting the contract, I offer you 1,000. Alright. Well, you better take that. Hey, 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 shut up. I'm in charge here, not you, Willar. Also, just occurred to me, Willar Woodstrider. Is Woodstrider supposed to be some sort of euphemism? Well, do you accept my offer, Dragonborn? That kind of money isn't something you just say no to. I knew you'd be sensible about this. I just like money. Now you must first travel to Solitude. The original information I found on these necromancers leads there. They had been meeting somewhere in Hafingar. I suggest you try to pick up information from the locals of the capital. That's all for now. Should you require any direction, I shall remain in the library here. Guards! Wrong here. Just saying. Did the quest not update? How goes the hunt for these necromancers? Oh, okay, okay. It just took a second. I was being impatient. Well, if Marim gets to come, then so do I. Marim. I recommend we start at the tavern. Place gets plenty of foot traffic. Agreed. The Winking Skeever would be a good start. The palace would be a good place, too. Oh, look at that. Synchronized standing up. Is this just going to be them oh, trying to out to each other? Going well. Like, are they just going to be at Oz the Ooh. entire time trying to outdo one another? Like Vine for my attention. I'll come to solitude with you. Can't have you leaving me behind all the time, can I? You already said that. Well, if Marim gets to come, then so do I. Okay, here they go again. I recommend we start at the tavern. Here they go Place again. plenty of foot traffic. Hey, Willar. Right behind you. Oh, and it's still showing part of his quest from the other mod during the battle when it's like, I need you to set up a vantage point. How about you? Still here. Wait here. I need you to do something. I need to trade some things with you. Okay, so just basic dialogue with her. Was just curious. Now, do I ask just the, uh... If you need a good rumor or two, the I think I can oblige. Welcome to the Winking Skeever, friend. Oh, here we go. Oh no, is the dialogue thing gonna freak out on me? Have you heard anything about an extensive coven of necromancers here Not in Skyrim? Really. 
Solitude you already know all that I know. By about half the Septim Dynasty. Well, I don't all right. Think can Remember the it. winking skeever next time your foot's sore. Is that it? I know everything you know? Seems there's always more to be done. Okay. Nah, I was done talking anyway. You and me. We're the only people around who aren't complete fools. You said it. Have you heard of anything about an extensive coven of necromancers in Skyrim? Nah, I don't think so. Damn it. May song speed you along. Hey, you. Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep track of all the people I've been meeting. Never mind. Good to talk to a fellow traveler. You another poacher looking for work? I'm not hiring. Have you heard anything about an extensive covenant of necromancers in Skyrim? Plenty of them. I've heard about some down in Fort Snowhawk. And people are talking about strange lights coming from Wolfskull Cave. His mouth isn't moving. Do you know if either of those are part of a more extensive network? Extensive network? You mean... Verizon Wireless. Alright, it's obvious you know something. Possibly. Not obliged to say something, though. Now leave me be. Find them yourself. Speech two-handed destruction. Speech. Please, this is the good... F for the good of Solitude, Skyrim, and all of Tamriel. Why isn't it working? Fine. I'll tell you what you want to know. Well, out with it then. There were two men in robes in here a while back. Long. I figured they were monks or something. If you ask me. I was they walking past the, the room they were work. staying in. I'm sorry I never heard them talking. You, Jero, but students sounded rather curious. Of so I stopped outside the door. Do try to persevere. Yes, Headmaster. You were eavesdropping on them? How rude. Information never hurt a soul. Just the stupid things people do with it. As I was saying, these two were discussing a... Uh, <clears throat> claw that could be used to open a door in an ancient Nordic ruin. Don't know what ruin, though. What they did mention was that they'd be headed to Dawnstar to try and find this claw. That's all I can tell you. They walked out of the room before I could react. Didn't want the guards on their tail. So they just threatened me, instead of killing me. It's more than enough to go off of. Thank you. Yes, yes, you're welcome. Search Dawnstar for more leads. Okay, so then the information he gave us about Fort Snowhawk and... That was an interesting fellow. Um... Almost reminds me of you. The other place doesn't matter then. Ooh, that hurts. Okay, so we just kind of sidestepped the other uh, locations he mentioned. But I guess if you had failed any of those dialogue options, or all of those dialogue options, then you would have to go to Fort Snowhawk and the other place just to try and explore there. Alright. So we don't need to go into... Oh, god damn it! We don't need to go into... Uh, Dawnstar itself, it would seem. It seems we just go immediately to the location. Where is that dragon? Oh, 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 where's that dragon? I saw fire, but where's the dragon? I don't see him. Oh, there he is. Okay. Marim. Willa. You're in for a treat. Oh, I found someone. Oh god, we need to make sure the dragon doesn't attack the necromancers. We gotta keep the necromancers alive, because I'm pretty sure those two people right there were just the necromancers that we're looking for. Well, that's all taken care of. Oh, they're coming to thank me, aren't they? Wait, where are you going? Wait. Oh, do they just want to look at the dragon? Yeah, I think so. Who are you, and how important is this? Very important. Interesting robes you've got there. Never seen a wizard before? Unlikely. Even for a place as desolate and mundane as Skyrim. I mean, he makes a good point. It's literally just black robes. Black is a very slimming color. It's a very nice color to wear. So yeah, why am I judging his appearance? I'd hardly call the place mundane. It is full of necromancers, after all. Yes. One of many reasons to love this province, along with its weather and its welcoming native people. 
I can see markings on your hands caused by necromantic spells, but you're also wearing gloves. Well, he's wearing gloves because of wet and cold. The mod wet and cold, not just by default. Uh, I'm actually looking for one particular network of necromancers. I know nothing of the sort. Covens, sure, but extensive organizations have been rare since the Oblivion Crisis. Honestly, I think you've been misled. I met a man in solitude who confirmed otherwise. Seems like a bit of a sketchy character though, so who knows. Look, I don't know what that fur trader told you. Aha! I know nothing of it, now leave us be. I never mentioned a fur trader. They're splitting up. Shayagorath, beard, run! Wait, who, which one are you going after? Go. Which one are you going after? Oh, and, oh, 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 where are we going? Where are we going? There he is, I'm, t I'm gonna chase this guy. Can I kill him? Do you think I can kill him? Uh, do I have... I don't think I have... I don't know what shot I would have equipped. Oh, and, yep. Alright. I don't think I can kill him. I think I have to just chase him. <laughs> yeah, no, I can't hurt him. What? Oh, and there's a troll behind me. Alright. Come on, Willar. Oh, Skeleboys! Oh, am I? Yeah, no. I was trying to shout, but... Suffice it to say, not ready to shout yet. One thing I want to say, this is my first time recording anything on my new computer, on the new PC. And I gotta say, my old PC wasn't bad, it's just like, you know, six years old. But this feels just butter smooth. I've been streaming on it for probably the past month or so now, but I hadn't recorded anything on it yet because, you know, I figured... With Skygrafall, let me finish Skygrafall on the computer that I started recording it on, just to be safe. Um, Oblivion, I'm gonna keep recording on the other computer, on the old PC, because frankly... Oblivion is so finicky with mods and everything, that I would be scared to trying to move everything over. Like, I just can't imagine it going well. I really do like the animation for summoning all the skeletons. The mod does have a nice flair for the dramatic, is what I would call it. It has a good cinematic sense. As did the first one. The first one had a really good cinematic sense, which is something I always like. It brings the mods to life more. Hi. You have me cornered? Go, strike me down. See what good it does you. Oh, it would be my pleasure. What? Do you have anything to say first? Yes, that you hardly know what you've gotten into. You couldn't possibly know what kind of power you're dealing with. I know you're after an Elder Scroll. Don't try to intimidate me. It won't work. Well, you know more than I gave you credit for. You still can't stop us. Oh, I didn't even hit him. Willard got a bolt in his eye. Did you see that? Oh. Silver claw. Oh, does the model not show? It's not showing. Nellern's letter. Nellern, my men found one of those runes you're speaking of in a Nordic ruin about a week ago, and I can confirm that they're related to this silver claw. I'll gladly tell you what you want to know, my friends. At a cost. Come to Warden's Holdout in the Velothi Mountains so we can work out this deal. Yakir Al Skaven. Because I followed Willar. Or Willar followed me. So now we have to meet up with Marim. Yeah, the last time I recorded, this is where I hit a bug. There hasn't been any patch or updates for the mod since the last time I tried recording, but, um, 
you know, maybe it was just a thing of a scripting issue back on my old computer. So I'm hoping that the bug that I ran into uh, does not come up this time around, but I guess we shall see. Also, Willard just immediately left me. He was like, oh, Neller instead? Goodbye. Okay, yeah. So the issue I had last time is that Marim wasn't here when I tried to initiate the conversation between the two of them. So he had his half of the conversation completely by himself, and then I had to wait. Marim would show up and have the other half of the conversation completely by herself. I assume you killed that elf? You were there, Willar. You shot him in the eye. Uh, yes, but I found this claw on his corpse. Good. We need to find out what they're after. Do you know how it works? Yes, but the issue is I don't know the combination or what door this goes with. Combination? Uh, alright. Let me just say that this claw thing still makes no sense. Yeah. So, I have to wait for her to show up. Because I also tried placing her... At me, and Do that did you not help. Always go into ancient Yokudan ruins. Oh, here you go. I'm not a mercenary. Well, I guess I am now, but only scholars and sellswords ever go into ancient Nordic crypts. Yep, this is what I told you about. Hey. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, they're both dead. We could find a way to give them a taste of their own medicine, if you get my meaning. You, you done talking now? Hey, Dragonborn. You busy? Yeah. Ultimately, here's the thing. Both Valley of Outcasts and Last Refuge, they're not bad mods. But they could have definitely benefited a lot from more playtesting. I don't want to say that the mod author didn't playtest it. I'm just saying that it could have benefited from maybe asking other people to playtest and bug report and everything. And maybe could have benefited from uh, more patches as well. Obviously, no mod author is ever obligated to uh, patch and bug fix and everything. But the mod author seems passionate and proud of his work. So it would be nice to see, you know, issues like this resolved, because I'm sure I'm not the only one who had uh, bugs like this, issues like this, so on and so forth. So let's wait a couple hours and see if Marim shows up, because that's what worked last time. Frankly, I'm not that keen on raising a thrall. Told you. Plus, I'm not even sure they cooperate. Do we have any alternatives? Oh, and it just exited out of the conversation menu as I was trying to talk to her. I found this note on the one I killed. Have a look. And enter's not working now. All right. Well, judging by this, we might have some competition. It's from another mercenary leader named Jakir Alskavin. Another Red Guard mercenary. Sounds like your type of guy. Whoa, all right. Whoa. Whoa. Why do you guys have to keep on bringing race into this? I can read, you know. Yeah, but you never actually do, and everyone knows it. What the hell? Anyway, seems like he found out one of the runes for the claw, and he's selling it to them. The joke being that there are a lot of Red Guard mercenaries out there, and we all know how mercenaries can be. Are you... Are you good there, Willar? We need to go to this mercenary. Alright. It says here that they're based out of a valley in the Velothi Mountains. Very inspired. We'll have to find a way in when we get there. Shouldn't be that hard. Seriously. You ever seen what a barracks full of hired guards is like? You take a band of young and able men and women with no binding to a code of conduct and put them in a room full of beds. See what happens. I don't like where this is going. Oh, wait. You already did that. Hey, whoa. You were responsible for that too. You're the one who founded the Valley of Outcasts. I just got stuck with it somehow. Something you need? Her voice acting is very quiet at times. Like, it's very good voice acting, but sometimes it just gets very, very quiet. Actionable intel. Go to Jakir's fortress in the Velothi Mountains. Oh, is there no quest marker for it? 
let's take a look. Velothi Mountain Citadel, Rulith Canyon. Uh, yeah, Velothi Mountain Citadel then. Oh yeah, it's essentially just like, it's the bandit version of our Citadel, because we have... Let me just uh, scroll down to it. We have the Jural Mountain Citadel, and they have the Velothi Mountain Citadel. It's just like our... <laughs> it's our... What is it? It's like the Bizarro Superman? It's just Bizarro Citadel. Okay, now it's showing a quest marker. Now it is. Well, that's good then. For Talos, and also Dibella, and Sanguine. Wait, what? Hey, whoa, wait. <laughs> For Sanguine, really? What combination of gods and Daedric princes to you do you pray to, Willar? We'll talk about that later during your performance review. Wait, so where is this point? Oh, it's pointing... Oh, it's pointing into this cave. Oh, I thought it was pointing up that way. Okay, it's a good thing I paid attention to the map marker then. Oh. Oh, are we gonna get locked in here? Hey, wait a second! He's wearing similar armor to us! It really is the bizarro version of us! Hello? Yes? He's not hostile. This is just Bizarro Us. Bizarro Valley of Outcasts, and I kinda like... I kinda like it. I'm a little concerned, but I kinda like it. Your name? Uh, George. A also. Like, Marim, you can't push me Your around. Name? He almost looks like he could be a bizarro me. Not like exactly, but he looks Your like name? he could be a bizarro me. My name? George Zarkady. Right. And what exactly are you doing here? I sell some of the finest wares in Skyrim, which need to be guarded. You don't recognize one of your own men? And he's like, my god, are you me? You see this blade, it's more, uh, it's been in more dragons than any other? Or bribe will 200 septums alleviate your concerns about infiltration? And he goes, sure, wait a second, infiltration? Uh, I sell some of the finest wares in Skyrim which need to be guarded. Typical merchant. Alright, go on inside. Name? Marie Maltenau. I'm with him. You're very close to him. Another? Very well. Going. And you? Will R. Woodstrider. I don't have you on the list, Wilmar. It's Will R. And I'm with them. Oh, my apologies, Will R. W-I-L-A-A-R. Why do you care? That's what I said, is it not? Alright, let's go in. Yeah, this really just feels like... a very similar fortress to ours. We're gonna go inside and there's gonna be just a, uh, another version of Marim. Just watch. 